Well, my name is Avril Daly and I work for Fighting Blindness in Ireland, which is a research charity concerned with finding cures for conditions that cause blindness in um, about 5,000 patients in Ireland. I was very fortunate that I came into it when, when a lot of the contact had already been established. So it was just a case really, I suppose, of broadening that out, of looking at the various areas that we needed to focus on. For example, we, we looked at gene therapy, then stem cells, then growth factors. So you need different skill sets and different expertise areas. So you go search for that. So that was the experience that I had, which was very encouraging and, and, and very positive, and we're still very much... Uh, in, in contact with the, all of the researchers over the years and we have set up uh, a retinal researchers network because it was, it was specifically retinal research that we were looking at into rare diseases like retinitis pigmentosa, Libra's congenital amaurosis, um, Libra's new, uh, optic neuropathy and Stargardt's disease. So they were the areas that we focused on. So we brought all of these researchers together under the umbrella of the All Ireland Retinal Researchers Network and there's about 75 researchers working in the area and we didn't realize that so now they're talking to each other and because they're talking to each other there is a lot of other um, I suppose uh, discoveries and other outcomes that we probably wouldn't have otherwise had because the, they sometimes you have people they might be working in the same area but they don't know each other you know and so if you bring them together sometimes one can help the other out and it's, it's really a case of bringing people together and I think that communication is vital particularly in the area of rare diseases because of the fact of the very nature of the conditions you know because people are just working maybe independently in various different areas it's so important to bring them together and and that's where you see the real results and 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 we've seen them and and I suppose from our perspective in fighting blindness I mean we we started in 1983 just a couple of families getting together they were already working as support as a support group, but sort of looked at the idea of potentially doing genetic research into retinitis pigmentosa, which is obviously a rare disease. And so they, they were there at the very beginning, fundraised to get the money, started the project off. Then this project becomes the first project in the world to find the first gene responsible for retinitis pigmentosa. And that happened in 1989. And since then, really, we've, we've discovered about 150 different types of genes in, from an international perspective. We've discovered that, that cause this condition. So, I mean, it's massively more complicated than we expected. But the really interesting thing now is we've been through the process of establishing the research and funding it and developing it as it goes. And now we're at the stage where we're, we're starting to look at clinical trials. So we're at the other end with some of our research, if, if you like. And, you know, our advice to organizations who are like that, who are patients who just maybe received a diagnosis of a condition that they've never heard of and the doctor has never heard of. And there's a there's an impetus there to get started in research that, you know, it can happen, you know, if you have your structures in place. There's a lot of advice out there. Uh, there's a lot of advice from state. There's a lot of advice from other organizations and organizations like Eurotis um, that can help people to get started. And I think the way things are going with research and medical research, the advancements that people are making right now are so, um, you know, s s so exciting that it is an exciting time. And so I think, uh, I think it really, you know, don't be put off and it can happen. And, and as I said, the structures and the inv advice is there. So it's, it's a matter of availing of that and, and knowing where to get it. And I think that's something that's very important and to get that information out there is very important. I think from a research perspective, events, for example, like conferences on various specific issues. I mean, for example, if there's a conference on cystinosis or something like that, and, and patients, there's, a, there's only a few patients, and they get together and they invite the speakers, they have the opportunity to speak to them and, and, and to learn from what they're doing and potentially help and find out what's going on in other countries, how they can affect you know, those, those various different... Uh, projects that are being undertaken. So I think it's important to be involved on, and, and to go to these conferences and, and listen to what's, what's being said, what's needed, what can you do. And sometimes it can be a very simple thing, you know, and, and you'll have, you have researchers getting really stressed out about getting access to this, that or the other thing or, or having a real difficulty and, you know, a patient can say, well, 
we could help you this way or we could help you that way and it just makes life so easy. I mean, we're working on this and fighting blindness at the moment because of a clinical trial, we're working at trying to establish databases and you're sitting around a table with clinicians and researchers and as a patient representative, you actually have the information that they're desperately in need of and, and you can kind of see it happening that way. It's, 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 it's there, it's all there. It's, it's just getting out there and having the conversations, learning what's going on, seeing how you can help and, and, and being proactive. And, and not to be afraid to ask. I always think, you know, people sometimes are a little bit afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask because, you know, it's, if, if, it's, if your idea isn't going to work, it's not going to work, but maybe it could work something, somewhere else or maybe you have another idea which is suggested and, and, and that's really important, I think, just to be proactive and see what you can achieve.